Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, February 27. It's the second week in Lent and the scripture for this service. Psalm 27 and Genesis 43, verse 16 to 34. And please join me in singing uh, the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Psalm 27. Please recite it with me. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And though an army should encamp against me, I shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing that I have desired of you, one thing that I seek, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life to behold your beauty and to inquire in your temple. For in the time of trouble you will hide me in your pavilion, in the secret of your tabernacle, and you will set me high upon a rock. And my head shall be lifted above my enemies who surround me, and I offer sacrifices of joy in your tabernacle. I sing, yes, I sing praises to you. Hear me when I cry aloud to you. Have mercy on me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not put me away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, you will take me up. Teach me your way, my beloved, and lead me in a plain path. Do not deliver me to my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out cruelty. I would have fainted unless I had believed. I would see your goodness in the land of the living. I wait on you. If I am courageous, you will strengthen my heart. As for me, I wait on you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? A reading from Genesis 43, beginning at verse 16. When Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Bring the men into the house, and slaughter an animal, and make ready, for the men are to dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph said, and brought the men to Joseph's house. Now the men were afraid, because they were brought to Joseph's house. And they said, It is because of the money we placed in our sacks, the first time that we have been brought in so that he may have an opportunity to fall upon us, to make slaves of us, and to take our donkeys. And so they went up to the steward of Joseph's house and spoke with him at the entrance of the house. They said, O oh my Lord, we came down the first time to buy food, and when we came to the lodging place, we opened our sacks, and there was each one's money in the top of his sack, our money in full weight, and so we have brought it back with us. And moreover, we have brought down with us additional money to buy food, 
We do not know who put our money in our sacks. And he replied, Rest assured and do not be afraid. Your God and the God of your father must have put treasure in your sacks for you. I received your money. And then he brought Simon out to them. And when the steward had brought the men into Joseph's house and given them water, and they had washed their feet, and when he had given their donkeys fodder, they made the present ready for Joseph's coming at noon, for they had heard that he would dine with them. When Joseph came home, they brought him the present that he had carried into the house and bowed to the ground before him. He inquired about their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? They said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. They bowed their heads and did obeisance. And then Joseph looked up and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your youngest brother of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. And with that, Joseph hurried out, because he was overcome with affection for his brother, and he was about to weep. And so he went into a private room, and he wept there. Then he washed his face and came out, and controlling himself, he said, Serve the meal. They were served by himself, and them by themselves, and the Egyptians who ate with him by themselves, because the Egyptians could not eat with the Hebrews for that is an abomination to the Egyptians. When they were seated before him, the firstborn according to his birthright and the youngest according to his youth, the men looked at one another in amazement. Portions were taken to them from Joseph's table, but Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs. And so they drank and were merry with him. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, our light and our salvation, grant us the patience and courage to wait upon you. And forsake us not, that our faith may be increased, and our hearts be strengthened. And we may dwell in your house all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.